Joel there, and welcome to Mass Effect. Now, I was going to play Mass Effect 2 as a complete series, and I kind of announced it to some people, and ran a scene on the live streams, went, you can't play Mass Effect 2, you can't play Mass Effect 1, it'll ruin Mass Effect 2 for you. And then went out and bought me Mass Effect 1. So, thank you, Ranasian. And if you enjoy the series, say thank you to Ranasian in the comments as well. Anyway, so, Mass Effect 1, maybe a completed series, depends on how the recordings go. Well, you'll know because it was a complete song, not in the title. But, Mass Effect 2 will also be following at some point, hopefully relatively soon. It's more of a time map than anything else. And then maybe depending on how the series goes and how the comments and all the, what, and, you know, the normal stuff goes, likes and stuff, um, me enjoying it, goes there may available be a Mass Effect 3. Because I haven't bought Mass Effect 3. I have two and I'll have one. And seeing how they go, we may go for three. And then maybe Andromeda. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Thank you. Classified information requested. Confirm pre-service history. Both your parents were in Alliance Military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations. They were transferred to posts and subpostings, never staying in one location in more than a few years. Follow your parents' footsteps. You enlisted in the age of 18. I kind of like the idea of living in space, moving from place to place. So we'll go with... Spacer. Confirm no, psychological enter. profile. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to sell your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. I kind of wish that was it. It's like, the sort of life is I was stronger, I was better, the others mentally snapped and the others got killed, but, and then they were, they were stronger than them. It's like, no. That's just, that's, no. This one is a matter of you held down the outpost while your friends fled so that you could save as many as you could. That sounds nice. Confirm military specialization. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for front lines of a firefight. Soldiers get improved health and can train to use weapons of all types, start with the ability to use medium armor and specialist in heavy armor. My best part of that line is more health. I'm not the first person to shoot what kind of person. I'm not even the third person kind of shoot what kind of person. I've got a feeling that soldier with the ability to get more health is going to be beneficial. We're going to use the soldier. It's the any weapon, so it's like sniper rifle for long range, machine gun or rifle, assault rifle for medium range, rather than having limited weapon types. But mostly it's the heavy armor and more health for my, given this my first play. If we do this well, a Mass Effect 2, we might try something else. Confirm facial identification. And is there a randomized button on here? Randomizing, randomizing, and randomized. Tweaked it a little bit. I have a thing for the red hair. So there we go. Finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Name Joe Shepard. Spacer, war hero, soldier. Combat difficulty will be normal. Level level will be squad only. Target assist will be normal. I don't want to have any like major bonuses and I'm not good enough to have no assist. So we're going to have it on uh, on normal. And auto save. Because I'm going to screw up and I'd rather screw up and have it save. Ba -ba 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 Well, what about Shepard? A spacer lived aboard starships most of her life. Yeah. Military service okay. runs in the family. Both her parents were in the navy. She proved herself during didn't the blitz. Really say it was navy, Held did off they? enemy forces in, on the did, ground until reinforcements arrived. I was thinking like cargo transports, you know. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. Like a certain trip we know. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. Shepard. I'll make the call. Round them up, Shepard. Well, let me find my sheepdog. I've got a tour base, that count. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient, ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars, the basis of incredible blah, 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 blah. Also pointing out, I have the music set to none right now, and it's I hear music, so, you know, problems. The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. Entertaining. I like that tune there. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Engaging hyperdrive in five, four, three, two, one. 
Oh. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All right, approaching Neptune. All stations secure for transit. It probably isn't Neptune, but it could be. You never know. But no, it's we're into hyperdrive now, aren't we? Warping five. Welcome to the SI one. I get a bit worried if my crew were carrying these guns for the entire uh, three. Or discreet. Approach run has begun. I want you. I mean, if you were. Uh, <clears throat> that's a big bugger. If you were uh, heading there on the ship, maybe on your actual ship, and everyone's carrying weapons in the ship, would you be a bit worried? Like, three, two, two, one. one. Initiating relay. And mass relay. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. All systems online, Drift. Captain. Just under 1500k. Excellent. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Why? He's excuse me, I just gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Nah. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. Paranoid? You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Ah. Yeah, that is the official story. But only the idiot believes the official story. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yes, if you're sorry, but those idiots believe the official story. And you are overreacting, my friend, but yes. You always expect the worst. Because you do. You know, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. <laughs> but we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Like, oh, Everything oh. looks solid. Good. <laughs> Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I, don't remember I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Uh, aye, aye, hey. Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a Yeah, You're in trouble. You get that, Commander? Uh, yeah. Mouse is a bit hard to do with it. I heard. I'm on my way. I, I, no, I, was, I was in range. Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? But you mean? when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> okay. Hello, me. Hi. So, I can run around, I can talk to you, let's not shoot the crew members, can we, can we not, can, can we not shoot the crew members, can, can, can you put the gun away, or right, get a, a bigger gun out, that's also an option, yeah, see, scroll wheel's not helping the situation right now, is it, alright, well apparently I'm keeping the gun out the entire episode, oops, Let's move away from that. Say thank you. Okay, there we go. Now we're not killing everybody when we walk around the ship. Na 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 na. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. No, no, my friend. But if you, you got have fear, to admit, let me know. something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? What, what you do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all well, we're supposed to brass, do you know. is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. And uh, you, go. Why send a spectre? A Turian Spectre on a shakedown run. It doesn't add up. Investigating. Stealth systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? Yeah, what do you know about it? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. Mm -hmm. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, <laughs> there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this but the thing is, run is just a if you were testing technology, you wouldn't have enough crew to test it, but there'd be mostly scientists and engineers on board, not like proper crew. Uh, not to mention, of course, that you're right. You, you mean you're testing in local space, not deep in you know, another area. Anyway, uh, a cover? I'll give it uh, what, a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. 
I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I agree with you on that one. I don't like being left in the dark either. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Good luck. Presley. Look at his name on screen. What is that? Nothing from this distance. We're gonna run. I grew up on Eden Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's yeah. crazy. Nope. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Hello. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Uh, you watch too bad. Hello, Nihilus. Hello. I'm um, walking purposely. It's better than running the whole time. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Okay, what do you talk about? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden, Eden Prime. Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know what it would be. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Mm, Proof maybe. that humanity can maybe. not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Okay. Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. Yeah, so? The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. And humans are not to be in the Is the Alliance survive. truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going And there it is. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I, I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Okay, so pick up, so why is secrecy? Well, obviously it's something secret to pick up, so I've not been asking that one yet. You should have told me, well, they are telling me now, so they're going to argue if I did that one, so what are we picking up? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. Now, I know what Prothean is, but for the, for the audience, could you tell them what Prothean is? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. I have no idea Their what legacy is still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. So, they were really the last advanced. Time they made a discovery like this. It jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something. Pretty like sure this. that jump drive more than 200 years. We need years to bring the beacon this. back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. Mm, this discovery does. could affect every species in Council space. Uh, you sound worried, my friend. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. Hey, don't, like, not the pilot. It's, more, just, it's just a lot of talk. Nihilus else. isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Okay, now, see. The like hell he is, it's not a thing about that. Because it's like... You can try to evaluate me, that's the that's the odd discussion. And I should have known, but I'm more interested in the why. The most powerful question in the universe is why. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Okay. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar power. I'm sure they do. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Okay. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. No. You showed not only courage, I but also incredible I cowered behind a big machine skill. gun and fired it That's at why everybody your name forward as just to make sure no one got spectrum. past me. And then I told everyone it was bravery rather than just me panicking. I mean, hi, how are you doing? Yes, it was bravery, yes, that's the word, yes. Did you put my name forward? Really? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Yeah, why? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. Doom and destruction. And to the Spectres. Oh, we are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Okay. Well, quite frankly, at that point, it's... What? It's what this? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Ah, Earth. Fine. I need to see Earth, your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right. Well, I've got a couple questions first. I don't, I don't care about the, the people. I don't care about the that. Because that's the, the filler information that I should already know. Why the beacon? Why is this beacon so important? 
It's not why I asked, actually. Galactic civilization more, what, is based on Prothean technology. Was it broadcasting that kind of stuff? If we hadn't discovered those beacon, Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. Nah, we won't. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? Oh God, why weapons? That's why we humans shouldn't be allowed in space. The wrong hands. Like, like who? Like humans. The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable <laughs> sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. So? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Yeah, like they care. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. That's the thing. It'd be an act of war if you were to get dragged well, into a major conflict yeah, that's why we with the attacked, Terminus you know. systems. <laughs> we have to keep this low key. All right, then, let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. And What's wrong, there Joker? It is. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. And on screen. Get down. I'm gonna recommend not wearing white armor in the battlefield. It makes you a bit of a target. That's just a suggestion for future people. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't stop here. Get back. They came out of nowhere. We need. Come on, cameraman. Get a picture of the actual attacker, not the people being shot. There we go. Okay, that looks a bit weird, like more like a hand, but okay. I need to get a picture of their spaceship so we can ID them for future. Nope. Okay. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Like you'd know the timestamp. Come on. Where is it? Status report. Come on, you know where it 17 is. 17 minutes out, face. Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. That. Take us in, Joker. Fast uh. and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. And I'm gonna grab leave. your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Engaging stealth systems. A bit late for stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Uh, hell it is. Drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. I'm sure you do, my friend. I'm sure you do. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours. Let's go. Robert. Good luck. Go, go, go. We are approaching drop point two. Also, there's no way in hell you put that ship in an atmosphere. Shuttles, come on people, shuttles. You, you know, that's what they're there for. 